Hey guys, hello guys. So let's do this problem. Uh, now this problem is a slightly different than the one that we solved before. Uh, it's still a cable subject to distributed load, but now it's, it's not symmetric, meaning you see this is support is lower than this support. And when that happens, then it becomes a little bit more tricky, but not that much tricky. We always have the, the formulas here. We can use the statics and everything else, but I don't want to go and make it extremely long. So we're going to mix the approaches. We can use these formulas, which are the formulas provided in the derivation in the lecture. And we have to mix this with a little bit of uh, theory and knowledge of what is happening here. So remember, this is very important all the time. This is very important all the time. The derivations, the derivations have been made based on this shape. So this is the lowest point of the cable, and this is one of the highest point of the cable. This is the sagging, and this is the distance L. That distance L is by no means this distance L. So if, you, if we compare these two charts here, we're going to realize that we have two different uh, charts, two different graphics, two different pictures here. So the lowest point is this. So if I make a cut here, somehow, this is not going to be half of 25. This is not going to be 12.5 because there is no symmetry. As this is a difference with the previous problem that we did. So what we can do is that we can say, OK, I'm, I know this shape is this shape, so I'm going to call this distance instead of L. I'm going to call that distance x. You can call it a small l if you want to, but let's say x. And if this distance is x, this distance is 25 minus x. Got that? can hear you. OK. So look what happens here. Another thing that we know is the horizontal force in the cable subject to gravity load is always the same. So the horizontal force here and here is going to be the same. And even if we didn't know that, you're making a cut here, right, at a point. At the, the same point, this FH and this FH has to be the same because you are at the same point. And we have a formula here for FA, FH. So let's copy that formula, FH equals WL squared divided by 2H in this side. Once we have that formula, and we know that the left and the right are the same, so I can say that the horizontal force applied to the left diagram, to the left diagram, is going to be W0, W0, how much is that? 600, 600 times L, once again, L, this is L. For our case, this is L, 25 minus x. 25 minus x squared divided by 2 times the sagging, 2 times 10. And the horizontal force coming from the right side, or using the right diagram, let's say that this we use this. And for this one, we're going to use that one over there. So it's going to be the load, 600, multiplied by L, in this case is x squared, divided by 2 times the sagging, which is 15. And I know this and this has to be equal. So then I'm going to make them equal. Now we can say this and this cancel out, this and this cancel out. And then we can start solving this puppy here. And this is a this is equation, second degree equation. So we can say uh, we can solve this part or we can't. We don't have to solve it like that. We can actually, you know, something. We can actually take square root. I didn't think of that when I solved it before. 
I don't know why I didn't so think of that before. So let's let's do it in that thing and it worst case scenario I mess up. Big deal. It's not the first time. So I can do this. Twenty five minus x squared equals x squared multiplied by I'm gonna pass this ten here, ten divided by ten divided by fifteen. And then I'm gonna take a square root of both sides. And if I do that, then I'm going to have 25 minus x equal x multiplied by the square root of 10 divided by 15. 10 divided by 15. 10 divided by 15. Square root of that. So it's 0 0.8160. 0 0.8165 x. And then I can combine my x together. Combining the x's. Mm -mm. That's not good combining the x's. So let's solve this for x. Pass this to the other side. 25 divided by 1.08165. And that means that x is going to be equal to 25 divided by 1 plus ans equals 13.7. 13.76. There you go. So this side then is going to be 13.76 feet. And this is going to be 25 minus that. Eleven point twenty-four feet. Okay. Now we calculated the else or the X over there. And if we have to calculate the tension at both supports, well, the first thing is calculating the horizontal force because the horizontal force here is going to be equal to any of the two horizontal reactions. We know that. So we can do that. So horizontal force in either equation. So I can use this. Horizontal force is going to be equal to this. Let's use this one. So it's going to be equal to 600 times L square 11.24 square divided by 2 times the sagging. The sagging for this time is 10. And then the horizontal force, which is equal to AX, which is equal to BX, is. I always say that it sounds like the next chapter, the next episode of this problem. 2600. By 20. I don't know what I'm doing this in the calculator. 30 multiplied by 11.24 square. So that's 3,000, 3,790. Keep. There you go. Now, we can do this using the formulas because we still need the reactions and, and, and y. We can use this using the formulas. I can use the tangent if I want to. Uh, but why? Uh, we can use the formulas and I can calculate the T max because I already have this, right? So I can calculate T max. And because I know that T max is at either support, but let's say that T max in this portion is going to be here and the T max in this portion is going to be here. So I can calculate the T max here using this sim simplified formula here and or this formula whatever and then I can say that T max is equal to the square root of B A X square and A Y square and solve for A Y or I can use statics again in this part or in the other same same difference like my son says I have that portion of cable I have this value, which is the same value as here. And that value is a, you know something? I don't. I don't even have to do that. I was going to do moment here to calculate this force. But let's, let me complete the drawing. Remember, this happened live, guys. I never edited my, edit my videos. I leave all the bloopers. If I, if I mess up, I mess up. Not for any, like for example, now I was copying this value wrong, it's 11.24 feet. Uh, 
and I know the force here has to be, I don't know what I use rate for this one, the force here has to be equal to that times 50 because W is 600, I mean it's not 50, 600 pounds per foot. So 600 times that is going to be that, 600 times 11.24, that's this in pounds. pounds pounds which brings me back to this thing here okay and this is not keeps you see I told you I mess up no that was only to see if you were paying attention that's the only the only reason I did that okay now if you have this and this is AX equals FH and we know it, which is 3790 pounds, and this is also 3790 pounds. I could make moment here, I could do summation of moments here, but I can do also summation of forces in Y equals zero. And if I do summation of forces in Y equals zero, this reaction, which is AY, AY is going to be equal to. 6744 pounds. There you go. Done. So we already finished that part. And um, if I want to calculate the the tension, the tension is gonna be the tension here, this tension. Oh I'm not asking I'm not asking for the tension. Nope. Yeah, the tension at every cable of the support, good. Tension at every cable of the support. So the tension at A is going to be the square root of AX squared plus AY squared. So the tension at A is going to be the square root of uh, 3790 squared plus 6744 squared. Tension at A equals square plus 3790 square equals square root 7,736 pounds. Done. I want to do the tension now in the other side. Where is my, where are my drawings? This is the, my desk is like a black hole. It swallows everything. You see, I lost my drawing. I don't know where it is. But it doesn't matter. If I want to use the other side, oh no, it's here. Look. If I want to use this side now, I can do the same thing. I can do the same shape. I have this, right? The load here is going to be x, which is 13.76, multiplied by 600, which is that value. And that's going to be the same value as the reaction in BY for summation of forces in Y. So I can do that and I can say uh, reaction at BY or I can say just that summation of forces in summation of forces in the overall cable is zero. So I can say that BY plus AY, but AY is 6744 minus the total load, the total load is 25 times 600, has to be zero, and then I can calculate BY from here. So BY is going to be equal to, Eight thousand two hundred and fifty-six pounds. And now what do we do? Tension at B square root of BX plus BY square. So tension at B equals square root of tension at uh, BX is the same, thirty-seven ninety square plus BY 
8256 square tension at B equals square plus 3790 square square root 9,084 pounds. Done. Easy. You see, this type of cables, amazingly easy for solving. I'm going to post more videos about cables. Keep watching, guys. Have a good day.